Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, what the? There we go. <laughs> Wonder why that happened. Anyway. Hello, everyone. My name is Ghost Wolf Alpha. Back at again with another stream tonight. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. And tonight's game that I chose, as you can tell, is Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. Yes, I decided to go with Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands because I've been doing a whole lot of Star Trek and it needs to be changed up a bit. Anyway, how are y'all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, I hope, th hope this helps cheer you up a little bit. Anyway, where we la last left off is we just got transported to the Sierra Madre. And right now I'm debating on starting the whole whole thing again that way we because we were because I was rushing the ending of that of of it the last time for that stream. So, actually yeah, I'm going to do that. So, let's get started, shall we? I'll change up the music in a I'll shall start the music in a second, but first go go back when I got gassed unconscious. Corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make oh, new actually, friends. need to do or one thing temporarily. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear Actually, no, that's fine. Skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Here goes all my stuff. I still haven't figured out a way to fix that. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time. Like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening. One big ending of humanity. It's still out there. In the wastes. Preserved. Just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. And here we go. We get up from our... Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Okay, what do you... What do you want? That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps, you'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Okay. So, I'm not alone then, I take it. Around the villa are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. 
All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Okay, why would you do that? Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival. Or each other. All right. So find these three other people with the, sl with the slave collars and then bring them back here, correct? I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pip boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Alright. Um, who are these people that I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no. Although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Okay. Any suggestions for who I should go get first? Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He's docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Okay. Hold on a second. Did you say FEV? A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. Okay, that's all I need to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Not being able to read. That's kind of a kind of a bad thing, right the second. <laughs> Until then. I think these might give me some use here. Let's see what I got in my inventory. One hollow rifle. Okay. That's the way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your collar. But I have to go loot goblin. Got a feeling that we're going to be dealing with outside stuff soon. you may notice your vision will pulse, get dizzy. It's the cloud, eat your inside slowly, too much exposure, death. Nothing in here. Some chips. I'm gonna have to clear this out here. Actually, I'm gonna have to keep the flashlight on. Some more chips. Some shotgun shells. 
Dang, nothing in the gun cabinet. Turn that off for now. Okay. Got got all those chips there. Well, I'm gonna take that because I have only have limited amount of ammo. Right now anyway. Sensor modules, wonder glue, and ashtrays. Watch out for the villain inhabitants. Hello. There. Difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. the hologram. Excuse me. I'm gonna go the long way. Because going directly there just seems like a bad idea for some reason. Coffee mug. Ooh, some stuff in the box. Let's see if we can. Make one ghost sight. Actually, no way. I could use. Well, uh, is this just great? Want to have a sip of water? It's gonna be bad. Just in case I have to run through here, I don't want to get hit in the legs or in the face with that. Oh, just cockroaches. Say, <laughs> rad roaches. All I can say is, don't breathe this. Oh shit! Ah, for the man who has everything, a bouquet of grenades. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Nails, some scrap electronics. Nothing else here, really. Magazine. I need some lockpicks. Damn it. Wait a second. Oh, that works. <laughs> Got a laser pistol. Forgot I have the basher perks. Ah. 
Hi, Yosa, how you doing tonight? By the way, welcome to the Sierra Madre! Place where tuberculosis is probably the result is probably the result you're gonna get from the cloud. Oh. I like how I can bash locks in. Okay, Yoza. Nitrogen. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the columns to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Okay. I'm take risk. Now oh, some glasses finally. Make sure you put on the helmet. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Some whiskey. Uh, animalistic. Let's keep that. Welcome back. Okay, we got ourselves some 308s, some Mentats, Stim, Bending Machine Co. That's good. We had a gun that take accepts 357 right now. And now we do. Well, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, Yosa, is I'm going loot goblin. I know it's technically a bad bad thing right now, but hey. Okay, a stash. Cosmic knife. Uh, do I have any empty bottles? That's my question right now. Bottles. I only have an empty syringe. Dang it. Wait, I could bash. Oh, some C4. Some reinforced Sierra Madre armor. Which I will use. Actually, no, it's the same thing. So let's repair you, the other one. There, it's a little bit better, even though it's halfway. Thing in here, so 357, a reloading bench. And nothing else here. Turn you off. Whoever did that was an asshole. <laughs> okay, it's down to the basement then.
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn the music on. No wonder why it was feeling so creepy. One second, everyone. Let me just turn on... Okay, this is from Spotify. This Fallout Radio playlist. That's a little bit better. Knew you would come below the cage. Down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's that it. Move? The one in the cage. Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. Cans. Vacuum cleaner, a fire extinguisher, which I can't take. What I am going to pick... I'm going to pick jury rigging. Because I kind of need it. So especially with all the junk I'm picking up. That's me, there on the table. The I... Disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that Pip-Boy you're wearing. You're smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Okay. Can't exactly talk to him. So... Let's see... There we go. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. Okay, what happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes, down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Okay. You have multiple personality disorders. Some trauma causes? Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm? 
he placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Okay, I'm looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where is it? Dursi, where's your collar? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... Eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again. Tugging like a leash. Interesting. Okay. Okay, if that collar is, in, is inside of you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. Yeah, maybe you should go around shoving old world tech into your stomach. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Okay. Got some other questions for you. Of course you do. And so do I. Okay, you wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out, right? The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well... He would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Okay, and these radios, are you using for some sort of signal interference? They were here when I arrived. So I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their... voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the... digestion. Okay. I... Okay, so... I need to get you out of here. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. Uh Yeah, we got a little problem with that. If you don't come with me, he'll set off our collars, yours and mine. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre... I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I want my freedom too. Do you think I like having this collar on me? 
They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. Okay. I could order Dog to come with me. Actually, no. Sounds like Dog might be a bit more willing to get out of the cage than you. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Okay. So the key's in there with you and Dog. <laughs> yes, but Dog doesn't know that. We don't share everything. Sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it causes difficulties. Now I think it's a blessing. It keeps you on that side of the cage. Now, you go fetch. Find your master. Bring him here so we can talk. Okay. I could tell Dog that he has the key. Yes, you could. And once he was out, all starving and hungry, what do you think he would do then? Be careful what cage you open, because he won't go back in it without a fight. He'll tear you apart. He won't care if it kills you both. Okay, so if... Anyway, he if he hears the old man's voice, he'll do what he says. Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I could play his voice, yeah. I have an audio log of him on my Pip-Boy. You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down. Follow me willingly and I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Yeah. If I can't if I can't convince you I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man, so I'll prove it. Prove it? How? Words are worthless. I have the power to let Doc out of the cage. I'm gonna prove by not doing it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. What do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, Fighting will be far more difficult. Even... Even if Dog was more helpful, I think we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. 
No. You don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Okay, meet me over at the fountain. Don't get yourself killed and we'll plan our next move. Very well. To the fountain and its ghost then. Oh, hello! Next up. This one's... No. No, I don't want to set the marker. Okay, quest to tell soul. The medical district's easier to get to, so Christine will be the priority right now. Also, get rid of that. Let me get a get that police pistol out. Shit. Shit. Okay. Gonna have to go with the hollow rifle. Wait a second. Frag grenade, no. Not the detonator. Why do I keep doing that? Let's use this, since I have it. Shit, I'm back to the corner! In case you're wondering what I'm doing, it's... It's from the... It's from the cybernetics mod. Okay.
Okay, these this is tougher than I thought they were. <laughs> I can't remember what buffed them, but hey. There we go. That was a bit of a waste. Shit. Okay, I need to double tap it. Wrong. That's what I was going for. Some wonder glue. Okay, how many chips do I have? 513. Okay, let's go with four microfusion. There's a four of those. I'll get some Nuka Cola here. Excuse me. Get some pork and beans here. Five of those. Also, I need to set up things a little bit. And melee weapon for I, I can repair that. Com speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre, pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Okay, I'm turning on the light here. Uh -oh. No, I'll keep those reserved just in case. Okay, slowly. Nice!
Oh, back off, back off. Okay, it's probably over. Yep. Gift shop. Oh, that really messed up my health. There's nothing else down here. I was using all that. Come on, up, oh, up. Oh. Coffee pot. Not seeing anything else that's useful. Door <laughs> swing into the face. <laughs> okay, time to go continue on here. way so I'm not talking much as a case of I'm just trying to concentrate but also finding stuff that I kind of need or at least Junk in general. Is there anything here that I could craft? Split point, brass, some cloud kiss. Nuka Dark, Throwable Cloud Kiss, and the Unbending of the Can! I, I like that little mod there, honestly. Sorry about the yawn. Ah, oh, there's a stash over there. Oh, hello. Oh, it's right there. My glasses. Reading glasses. Dresser. Anything else? 
No. And to the back of the clinic. Okay, patrolling the first floor. Picking up a new meta signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Yeah, I know it would be useless, so that's why I do this. Okay, dispenser codes. Okay, got the Medex one. Book survived. Just and that's not really anything interesting. Impact code, nice. Some more secret stash stuff. Oh, this he has had time to experiment. I like that suit. Okay. That's really not gonna do anything. Damn speakers at the end of the hall. Red light means they're shielded. Must be a way to shut them off somewhere else. Exhaustion, nope. I hear you, I'm trying to figure out a way. So I'm gonna have to go into the basement. Good craft. Plastic parts, no. Well, at least if I get desperate, I can make a shiv. But until then, a weapon repair kit. be under other yes right there disengage main power okay not essential stuff is offline good ooh duct tape ah that's okay yoza and also kind of welcome back <laughs> Cool. A new PC, nice. Okay, the woman before he looks disoriented, pain. She blinks for a few, blinks a few times and winces. Okay, are you all right? 
She looks as you blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. Oh, that's not good. She touches her throat and traces the scar underneath the chin, and her eyes widen in alarm. Look, I am here to help. She looks shaken as she glances at the outer dock, recoils, and her mouth opens, but again, nothing comes out. Looks back at you, her hands clench it into fists, her eyes narrow, and she takes a step back, studying you. Whoa, 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 this isn't what it looks like. The woman opens her mouth again, winces, frowns, drags a finger across her throat in a slow motion. She looks more angry. Oh, she, and then brushes the collar, frown deepens. Okay, finds the locks, begins to press it with her fingers. Whoa, 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 don't do that! She looks surprised and knows your collar and raises an eyebrow. Okay. Good. Let's say we're... Let's just say we're in this together. The frown stares her eyes. She slowly shakes her head. What do you mean by that? She shakes, shakes her head to grin, draws a line in the air between the two of us. Look, together we could get out of this. She shakes her head once and crosses her arms. Look, I'm not trying to order you, but your life is literally tied to mine. She frowns, glances, glances at the collar, looks back at you, she circles her hands, puts her... Okay. She looks like she accepts it. Kind of. You're looking for someone else. Fine, I can help. She studies you again. Okay, yeah. Shakes her head slowly, gives a silent sigh, nods at me, raises an eyebrow, and nods at the door. Alright, come with me. Okay, at least we got ourselves a signal interference perk. Oh, hold on a second, everyone. We got ourselves... Spam! Give me one second, everyone. Let me just get to OPS here. And there we go. We got rid of the bat. We got rid of the spam. So yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Okay. Tool cap and nothing. Okay, I'll leave the auto dock alone. Okay, glances. Yeah. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long, it'll go off. Okay, points ahead of me. Ah, so you can interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency somehow. So bad, okay. Okay, it works with our collars. Does it work with any other collar? And doesn't. Oh, it's just your frequency. But only between us. Alright. Also, I need to change up the music. It seems we're getting repeats. There we go. I have myself another radio playlist for Fallout. Okay, nothing in the tool cabinet. Okay. I'm gonna give you... Well... Uh, give you a nice spear for now. <laughs> yeah, ads are over and I just had to ban someone that decided to spam... spam stuff. Basically saying, hey, you could get viewers here! No, I'd rather earn my viewers the old-fashioned way. Oop. Oop. Okay, 
Come on, knife spear. Okay. There. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Well, at least she's unconscious. Why won't you die? There. I'm dead. And there goes everyone else. Got me just right. Wait a second. Okay, I need to break out this. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'll do a quick save here. Status of my armor and stuff. Find the tinted reading glasses. over to the fountain. Christine. Oh, that's... Ow. Just so I have this marked off. Yeah, I already know that. I just wanted to mark it on my map. What's this? Why, it's a little doll. Were you carved by a craftsman? Or mauled by a drunk who didn't know his tools? I'm not going to hurt you. Yet. Much. Scars tell a story. Some old, some new. The one on the throat is fresh and red. Okay, got anything I could buy? Okay, we got a whole bunch of money. And not really that much.
By the way, I install I this I I usually have whenever I play the, through the Dead Money DLC a safe house. Okay, we got ourselves some stuff we can take. Of pre war stakes. Something I'm going to need. Okay, purified those waters. in the junk locker. Okay. Create a new compound. Heal. Move rads. Fix up the limbs. Kits. Trying to think what else I could need. Clean that. Break down the toaster. Break down the vacuum cleaner. I could make some gas bombs. <sighs> Could make more weapon repair kits. Make some, yeah, definitely make a gas bomb and remotely detonate. Make them so they're remote detonatable. Since I got a okay, now I could shove junk in there. But actually, first, reloading workbench. Yeah, I don't really need anything here. I keep wanting to press tab to exit out of it. There. I'm taking the cloud residue, though. Store. Oh, I could. I need to do some repair work stuff.
Trying to get everything all set here. Keep those. Let's turn those in, I believe. Don't need the laser pistol right now. Save the C4 for a bit later. Keep those. Don't need. There. I actually have my... Take a small nap here. Yeah, it's in the AM, so... Okay, 7 o'clock. Wait a minute, I could use... With the hollow rifle. Also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna take care of the perks. Me. Go with tactical strategist. Um, not Chinese saboteur. and pray. No weakness. I'm gonna get Lawbringer. Let's go with Weapons Nerd. Let's go with... No, not Meltdown. Fast Metabolism. And one more perk.
There we go. Perception endurance five. See, perception is now up to five. I'm going to continue this way just so I can have the marker all set. Crafting stuff, nice. And grenades. Make a few more gas bombs. I would activate them along with the demo charges. There. Leave the Salida del Sol Gate alone. You're not done with the villa yet. I so know. Don't stray. I know that. I'm just going to go fuck get Dean. Uh, Christine? Christine, what are you doing? Oh, you got hung up on something. Anyway... Okay, first off, those facial scars weren't done by the auto attack. The throat scar was. Okay, yeah, points at me. I can't restore your voice, unfortunately. We need a real auto dock for that. The other part is I don't understand why they shaved you bald. Wait, the auto dock didn't shave you bald? No, wait, I want to hear this. You were bald before. Wait a second. You're a brotherhood. Of, that was a. That's a brotherhood of steel symbol, right? You're a scribe. How the heck did you get out here, then? Oh, you're... Oh, uh, you were looking for someone? Okay. You were looking for someone. Robot? Okay, someone alive. An angry, bearded man. The man on the pit boy hollow deep, Elijah. Someone smart and nuts. Sounds like it's pretty important for you to find this person. I'm sorry, I'm not reading her quote unquote dialogue, it's just a case of case of it just it just goes by very fast. Anyway, he cut you off from someone. Family? Husband? Oh, girlfriend! Oh, you're more than girlfriends. Lovers.
What, you think I don't understand love? Uh, yeah, I understand how important a loved one can be. Okay, other questions. Um, can you communicate some other way? Can you write? Okay, something to do with the surgery. Oh, that specific born brain surgery using electrodes pre-war. You can still do math. That's good to hear. Okay. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Some more intense training. Let's increase perception. And now where was I? Oh yeah, dismissing you to the... Um, actually, you know what these most machines are around the villa are? Here's a Sierra Madrid chip. I'll need that back. <laughs> you can scrounge more somehow? You can make more of these at a workbench with the right materials. You need a fission you need a fission battery and scrap metal and you could counterfeit them. Can you teach me how? Okay, we got ourselves a way to make more chips. Okay, right now we're gonna have to part ways. Yeah, I'm sure meet me out back at the fountain. I'd wanna deal with this Dean on my own. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Now I. Oh, 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 As I was trying to say before that interrupted me, I know I could bash the lock in and all that fun stuff, but. Where's the fun of that? Now for explosives, go with the remote demo charge. There's a not the remote demo charges right now. Need the detonator out. There we go. Come on, I'm trying to swap to the mines here. Come on, swap. Oh. At C4. There we go. Let me try this here. Yeah, that's a remote demo charge. Oh, no one's here. Oh, nothing's here. So, oh, shotguns. Some 
nine mil. Oh shit, 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 shit. I must have. I forgot. I forgot about that. Can't see that way. Found another trap. That's one dead trapper, even though I used a little bit too much, in my opinion. Oh, another trap there. Oh shit. Where, where, where? Come on. That worked. Thing that way. Thing on the balcony. Hello there. Have a seat, and then we'll talk. Oh. The Sierra Madre. Beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here. Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. Okay. What are you talking about? Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in. It's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, 
it'll turn the moon a cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. Sure, I'll save my questions for the end. Please, go on. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. I'm not going to use barter. I'm going to use I'll cooperate because that that's the way to getting into having to shoot Dean. Uh, anyway, I'll cooperate. What do you want? Good, good. Then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. Alright. That's all. Let's head out. Okay, unclean living You'll perk. Have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate, that is. Okay. Didn't think much of our chances. Anyway, I found one of your stashes. Why uh, why did you leave them around the villa? Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous, so I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. Of course, you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Okay, got some other questions. It's your time. Okay, tell me about the a, tell me about the cloud. The cloud showed up off to the bomb. I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Okay, some other questions. It... Okay, what can you tell me about the vending machines all over town? Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip, get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. I've never seen machines like these before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Grifters? Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. How did he describe it then? Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. What other items can you get out of them? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Where can I find these cards? 
around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Okay, got some other questions. Uh, Anyone else alive here? Alive is a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much. As in at all. Where do they come from? Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they call to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Okay. Anything else I should know about them? Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. Okay. Questions? What can you tell me about the villa and the town? Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station, it's a ghost people hang. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are East Town, West Town. Sunrise and sunset. All were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West Town and East Town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people. Like hunting grounds. Okay, other questions? That's enough for now, and let's get going. Well, time to get through. Get through here. Hello. Let's go with Alternative, alternative energy. stims right now uh, well take the scotch take that why will 
won't you just die already, you ghost trapper? So you wish I had a shotgun. Oh wait, I do have a shotgun. That's better. Okay, let's talk to the talk to this nutty character. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Seer of Margaret, for whatever reason. He, the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy and trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. Okay, how am I supposed to get to the markers on my map? I've unlocked the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. Okay, what is the gala event? A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, and travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gate. After that, the real work begins. Okay. The real work? This was just a warm-up? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery. A cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering the Sierra Madre. We're plundering history. Taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily. Not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. Okay, I'll, we'll head out then. I want other... I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghostly traps and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. Understood. I believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no? Vera hologram? You know Vera Keys? Yeah, don't you? Or, guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Can you tell me about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. So you met her before you met Sinclair? Of course. What? 
some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen theaters or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keynes. Figured I could pay Sinclair back and introduce the two. I was a slouch in the dame department. I had to pick up the slack somehow. Okay. Now what do you think about the scale of that we're supposed to trigger? Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Why is it interesting? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a door. Okay, the gala's event is tied into the casino's generators. Right, look. So, not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. Okay, what do you mean about the Sierra Madre well, broadcast? Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, Instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? The, so the bombs fell the, and the emergency signal went out. Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song. One only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Okay, of course they have other people shown up in search of the Sierra Madre? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for a few suits. Okay, so the, all, so the visitors killed each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Okay, what happened to the people or say actually any advice to get through this? Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah. A few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you. It's over. Okay, anyway. Dead. Can tell you right. Okay, that's enough for now. Actually, hold on. Didn't think much of our champ. Okay. According to the market, your slave for a spot in Puesta del Sol. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer, and fall, 
A little bit in winter is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Well, I have good news for you, I'm kidding. Any idea why he wants you there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination, lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Although Royally Jones. Okay, what about Christine? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. No, I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong. I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Okay, I'm not following you. Odd men out. Dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox. The nurse passing the scalpel. The chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't great looking like I do. Okay, that's enough for now. Oop. Didn't think much about it. Okay, blah blah blah. I think we should travel together. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Okay. I'm gonna go with Dean first here. Let me just take care of the whole thing. Has he Wrong. Okay, you're already taken care of. So I'm at it. Actually, I should get some stim packs while I'm here. Don't need 27, I need 8. Those machines, Sinclair's little gifts, lasted longer than he did. If you need food, stims, put in a chip. Hold out your hand. Okay, I would need to talk to him. I want to get that Sierra Madre Martini. Okay, uh... Sorry, I'm going through everything, but real quick. If it's... Okay. Uh. Oh, scrounge supplies, like what? I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I called it a Sierra Madre Martini. How do you make it? Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose in down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. 
Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Okay, we got that Sierra Madre martini perk. That's enough for now, and we continue on. Let's head through the hole in the wall there. If we go backstage, we avoid the locals. I agree. Detonator. Shotgun. Come I want you die. This way. Ow.
Give back the shotgun here. Can't open it. Get a moderate may wait, not me. <laughs> Ow. Okay, we got an electric fuse. Hiccups here. Ah, aren't the trees lovely this time of year? Oh, blooming and green. Okay, a raid. Of course. It was getting too Organization, organization, infiltration. Uh, come on. Purification. Shit, shit, shit. That's not what I wanted. Organization. Civilization. Dang it. Getting close. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Civilization. Activate the hologram. Survey schedules, there. no. The switching station. That's where you'll need to bring the mute. Okay, chat, I need to take a quick bio break, so I'll be right back.
And I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I thought it was going to be quick. It took a little bit longer. It was due to some other things. Anyway, back to... Okay, team's unconscious. Oh! Well, that was... <laughs> Oops. This way. Oh, hello. I'm not. Oh, got a bit of respite here. Food. 
some flour. Here. Just a thing of rat away, which we really don't need. Whole bunch of Abraxo. Pilot light. Metal cooking pot. Coffee survived? How about that? And great coffee. And one of the waitresses, Rhonda, piece of work. Okay, we'll head this way. Just more flour. Okay, we'll head sure this way. Do, 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 do. Go back this way. Go through that way. What's next? What's next is I turn this on. Help clear out the area. Didn't mean to drop, but hey. If your mark is right, think the roost we're looking for is to the southeast. I think here. of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. Okay. That's enough for now. Because... So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks... Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. 
So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands, and tap them together like symbols? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. But are you sure you could do it safely? Well, safely? Around here, that word doesn't come cheap. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? The ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening. Hunting. Killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Okay. What is it going to take, then? If I clear out all the ghost people in the area, will you change your mind? No. You want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's the funny option, no? This is the better option. I switched the two holograms to cover the courtyard. Those should protect you. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know, this still sounds risky to me. For me. Uh, Vera's stayed power-ups as the bombs fell. Those holograms will, too. But, and if not, about, I'm about to... <laughs> I'm not about to trade your life for mine. Remember, the collars. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right, look. If the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, Try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Okay. Next. Besides a door that won't open. Last picture. Oh, not skilled enough. And I opened it up for purified water. Great. Well, that's what I get for having a mod that basically strips out loot. Oh, return items. Nice. Christine. Oh. Game crashed. Gotta love it. Do 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 do. Well, what do you expect? It's fall on New Vegas, <laughs> technically still.
Okay. Oh, I did it a little bit too early. Dang it. Yeah, one second. Let me get out of the game. Which means I have to restart it. Okay, just have to wait a little bit. Now I can. There we go. Back to the villa. Next, Christine. Someone wanted to cut your voice. Slipped off. There. Or they didn't finish their work, or didn't know how to. Think he's using the Pip Boy to establish projector connection? I think he might be close then. Any idea where? Okay. Here's the Pip Boy. I'll wait. Okay, why do you think he wants you to go to the switching station? Neither Dean nor Dog or say or Dog have the technical aptitude to man the switching station. Okay. Oh. Okay. Other questions because it did I mean need me to end this. Okay. I think we should travel together. Oh, it wasn't me. I have no use for your neck beyond what it circles it. Need to double check something here. Because I know there's supposed to be an upgrade for my hollow rifle here. 
if I remember correctly. One second, let me just I'm gonna open up open up web browser here. Okay, hello rifle. Tower. Okay. Okay, founded the switching station where courier brings Christine. Okay, found on top of a console. Non activatable. Okay. Thought I made a mistake here. No, it's just me misremembering things. Into the switching station? Doesn't look like Christine's happy right now. Oh. Fix using parts. Need three. Got two. I'm not jury rigging it because I do something different. There we go. And inside we go. And we got everything running. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to double check where the thing is. Oh, adjacent to the elevator. So, have to continue on. Well, is this just fun? I wonder. I have got grenades. Time to play some. Oh. There we go. I just realized I need some st need to use the stim packs. That's concrete. Well, shit. Okay, we're just jerry rigging it now. Why? Was it 
frag grenade instead of the other ones. Christ, and turn off those speakers. And that was one way to disarm things. Residue. Fine. There. Okay, activate the ventilation. Speakers off. Air. Turrets offline. Say destroyed. Let's go with turret expert. <laughs> Hold on a second. Not done yet. There you are. Hollow rifle. Two out of three. Transfer control to the station. And there we go. Okay, I found a way to do the bypass from here. You should be able to use, just use the terminal over here. Are you going to be okay here? Take her hand. We'll get through this. Yeah. It would have basically made her crazy if she went down there. And push the up button. Time. 
time. Ooh. Need to have some drink. <laughs> My character, that is. Just knows how bad it was. There. Okay, the surface route. Okay, that's special orders. I'm trying to remember some something's here I can't Doing a little bit of investigating here. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Ah, uh, that'll be for later. Besides, I have a way to get back to the Sierra Madre after the fact. Get to you in a second, dog. Cause it's a little bit too dark. Yeah, it's in the. I have to wait a few hours. There. Somewhere else. A gala event, perhaps? Okay, what do you know about the event? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then... I'll make sure you pay in blood. Okay, any reason why you're assigned at this point on the map? Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require... brute strength. In the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. I got some other questions. More. Don't push your luck. Okay. One. Let me see. Why is Elijah? What is Elijah's? What is Elijah doing Heard here anyway? The call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him. Because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. What does Dog know? Ask him. Or better, don't. It wouldn't be an interesting conversation. Much like this one. Okay, other questions? More. I know more about the guy that brought us here. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. 
You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. How do you say I'm the same as the old man? You're not him any more than I'm dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Okay. Ugh. What do you know about him? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty. And scorched by the sun. Scorched by the sun? The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Okay, what is he doing here? Anyway. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like... Yeah. Finds out it's... Okay, yeah. So you're the one that knows how I got to this villa? Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls. The click of the colors. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Yes, and so you brought me to the villa. Actually, no, it would be Dog. Anyway, how do you know the way back? So, how do you know the way back? The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave, try to disobey, and your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can. I can find the way back. If back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. So why did you bring me here then? Me? Oh yeah, dog. You think I... You were in a man... Okay. Forget I got More. other questions. Anyway... That's the for now. Oh, excuse me. If it isn't the clever one. Okay. I need to get you to the gala event position. Maybe dog. That's enough. If it isn't the clever Okay, let's travel together for to get I'll there. I'll follow you. For now. This way.
Anything in here besides a bear trap? Oh. Oh, startled me there. <coughs> Lunchbox. Oh, nine mil. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Curiosity turn speakers off. Reset the vents. So here we are. A row of switches on. These switches won't move them. Okay, hold on a second. No, Sam. And okay. This. Okay. I'm sorry, I have to go back. That way you can that way you can hear the dialogue. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. Ow. These switches won't move themselves after all. There must be some trick to it. Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? Okay, I need to just... Uh, actually, first, do you know how to operate the switches? I do. The diagram there tells me what I need to know. Okay. If that diagram over there holds the details... Actually, no. If you know how to operate the switches, I need you to trust me to get through this. You're right, but trust. Trust is such a harsh word. I prefer mutual need. It's more honest. No, I can help you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that Dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. Okay, what kind of food shall I bring back? Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to... other flesh. It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you. And the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. Okay, I'll go hunting. I'll see what I can find. Two chunks of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly so as not to draw more here. Okay. Oh, they fucked off.
got that. Ow. Oh, come on. better have brought enough meat. I can feel dog's teeth tearing at my ribs, hungry to get out. Yeah, I think this should be good enough. You're good at fetching. This should keep him where he belongs. For now. I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. And now for my turn. There, got the head.
there. One. Two. Exit. All we need now is the focus optics. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna prepare a little bit here. First, I'm gonna return shit. Chems, no need for drinks, food. Okay, so some more that. Get okay, four doses of steady. Some more stim packs. Five of them. There. I have to I'm trying to remember where the the Sierra Madre um, snow globe is. Remember correctly, it should be up there. It's a bit of steady here right now. Come on. Okay. By the way, I know I'm going over... going over. I'm doing this for a reason, because person I want to raid is going to be coming out in about 15 minutes. Oh, one second. <coughs> and I'm basically doing that as basically surprise kind of thing. Stash. And a Sierra Madre snow globe.
Well, you're kind of stuck. Okay, I need... I need a workbench. <coughs> Problem is, I have to go back to my thing here, because it just... Legs crippled. Okay. Back to the villa. Go to the workbench. I think we the closest one. Which is right here. Because I can make some better, some better, um, microfusion cells. Go with someone stable. Okay, fish recycling. There we go. Just go around here. Back to where we were. Right in the face. That's bullet time. 
Oh, there's a stealth field. <laughs> Surprise! Almost there. place where you can find them. <laughs> I am not your mummy. <laughs> oh boy. about it. Out of my way. Lens, super stim pack. Turn off this. Can you hear me? Damn transceivers. Let me link the callers to the speaker in the tower, then. There. Okay. Christine, we're almost ready right here. Second, take care of something off on the second script. Uh, on the second computer here, real quick. There we go. 
Okay, show's about to begin, people. Take your places. Certainly. Now, the gates will open, and so will the skies. Take a quick look. Okay, that's cool. And now to start running. When in trouble, load or doubt, run in circles, scream and shout. <laughs> Shit. Okay, do I have anything to help me with? Sp no, I don't. Almost there. And you get to see the next thing here. I have. Let's proceed. Nope. Oh, Runtime error. Well. I think I know what happened. Uh, it's a case of I'm gonna. It's either I'm gonna have to turn it off. One second. Um. Uh, where? Quickly visit on Nexus. Sorry, I'm double checking something here real quick. No, not that. Oh, I'm checking mods here real quick. I think I found the issue. And it's I needed a patch. Sorry about this, folks. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the game. We'll get to the gate, and then I'm going to save. Because I want to get, get there and all that fun stuff. But anyway, gotta love runtime errors <laughs> and forgetting to get pa certain patches.
Okay, you know what? I'll set up set up us for next time. Because it's getting a little bit too late for me, in my opinion. And the person I want to raid is on now. Right now they're still loading, but hey. Who cares? Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. If you are interested in more of my content, please hit that heart icon down below. This is my schedule. I stream my Grand Line on Fridays, Battletech Advanced 362 on Mondays, and any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there, well, or whatever pops in my fluffy mind. And this is my Discord. If you click on that, you'll take take us take you right to it. I also post when I if I go live there. You can also hang out with all the other fluffy headed wolves there too. Anyway, please stick around because we're doing a raid. She just got um we're raiding Mini Celeste because she's just got back from a vacation. And might as well give her, give her something a little bit special. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Good night, everyone. <laughs>